Oh, they're gonna be different, different shades. Let's grab a little bit of this yellow ochre here. It gets, makes me excited. <laughs> I hope it makes you excited too. See that? That gives a good, good feel. Uh -huh. Right here. See all these little colors? Look at these trees just coming along. Falls coming. But not quite here yet. And it's playing a key role in nature. Let's grab a little bit of this cad yellow to go with that too, just brighten it up just a tad. Just a tad. See there? You got some leaves still on. Let's go back here. This little tree right here. A little cover there. Alright. Grab these over here. a few of these. We got all kinds of things. Give them a hint. If you just tap them with a little bit of color, it still makes them appear far off. Like you got a lot of things hiding in there. Okay, right. now we've got those background trees taken care of. I'm going to use a two inch brush and let's go into some of the Van Dyke Brown, some of the Ivory Black, and let's tap some color into this. I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to do tapping straight down. This color is pretty dark. But I'm going to have to fill in all this. We're going to block all this in right here. So let's let's work on that. Notice how I started below that and worked my way up. See that? It lets the color gradually get lighter because there's not much paint in my brush. Let's just work on this. See what all we can come up with. Get all this laid in here. This kind of works good this way. Using a uh, two inch brush, a clean one, let's go into some highlight colors. Let's go into that Indian yellow, some of the CAD yellow. Now remember, it's got to be thinner, so I'm going to dip into this. I got a little linseed over here, a little bit of cup with that. A little bit of that linseed oil in it. If I can get my words right. <laughs> get tongue tied sometimes. Remember, you gotta have enough paint on here, but it's gotta be thin. It's gotta be thin. Let's put in some grass. Let's start from the right side over here. Just tap in some highlights. I think my paint's quite thin enough. Get some more linseed oil. Tap in here. Okay. Let's go back here in the back. There we go. It's working now. Lay in some highlights. Let's make that a little greener. Add a little more blue. Definitely work. see it. Sometimes they come out just a little bit too light and you have to work with them. Get some more linseed oil. And no problem with it. But we'll take care of it here in a moment. A bit more cad yellow. Showing up as good as I want it to. There we go. All right. I stopped just a moment. I want to put in maybe like a little pond right there. Let's take a two inch brush, a clean one. I have a lot of brushes up here. It's already clean, so I don't have to do a lot of cleaning all at one time. Make things move by a little easier. Okay. 
take a little bit of this white go up to the brush or go up to the canvas right here should I say I'm sorry about that pull down pull down pull down give us a bit of a reflection right there something to make it look shimmery okay lay that brush down let's get another clean one inch brush gently go across see that look at there instantly you have a little pond got a little light and who knows let me get this other brush that had her highlight color on it that's one good thing about keeping these and let's tap in some of the just a little bit of this color that we used on the grass right there okay where's my clean brush right here again gently blend those two see that okay i'm using a palette knife now going to some of that van dyke brown a little bit of lizard and crimson you can see right here this makes up a little bit of the makes some dirt a little yellow ochre i think that would help it give it a little warm flavor okay let's go right over here cut a roll off wait pull it nice and flat Cut a roll off like that. Gently pull right across through there like that. See how you got your got dirt. That easy. Don't even have to go dig it up out of the yard. <laughs> Make some funny comments sometimes. But, hey, that's what I like to do. Gotta have fun. Now, use a little bit of white in with that mixture. Let's use a little bit of the Indian yellow. Just a little. Add more white. We want to make a highlight for that dirt. See that? Just using that same dark mixture. Pull it out nice and flat like that. Cut your roll across. Just a little bit. See that? That dirt just comes light. This makes him stand out there. See that? But that dark, if you didn't have that dark on it, you wouldn't have anything. You wouldn't have anything at all. Just a gob of paint. Every little thing helps. Okay, while I got that knife, let me wipe my knife off here right quick. Okay. Under this white it's got a little bit of this purple tint to it from that mixture that I have that's good you don't want it to be just stark stark white I'm kneading this paint I guess you could say it makes it a little creamy that way it'll go on the canvas a little bit better sometimes these whites are thick so cut across the top push it forward go up here and let's cut in a little water line see that right there Cut it in like that. Just like that. Maybe there's one out here. See there? Got all kinds of things happening. That's what I like. It's how you can get all sorts of little things to happen. Okay. Wipe my phone. All right, let's put some grass back on top of this right quick. Take some of that ochre. Let's go right here and tap in some of that grass right there. Push that dirt down in there. Just like that. See that? Lay that brush down. All right. Where was my big brush at? Is button right there. There we go. Tap into these three colors here, a little bit of the Indian yellow, some of the yellow ochre, some of the cad yellow. Add a little more linseed oil. 